everyone welcome back to the channel today we're gonna go thrifting we're in between Christmas and New Year so I don't even know if there's gonna be many uh, shops open maybe like the bigger chain ones uh, so yeah we'll see how we get on I'll bring you along hopefully we'll find some good treasures I mean if anyone is like me they're wanting to have clear outs already so I'm gonna go to the main ones where you could pretty much drive up drop things off and go again and um, so that's when I'm gonna look today to know which I totally forgot about was everything's on sale so look out for the shelves that are have one pound shelves or half price shelves because I did get a lot of stuff there things that I maybe wouldn't they are bread and butter items but for a pound or 50p you know they're gonna still bring me a really good return so um, I'll go over a few so you might have seen me pick this one up I just, the, the quality of it is really nice. It's quite heavy, um, really nicely polished up here. So, and it has a, I think that's a polished pontal there. So yeah, 
I like that one. Uh, that was two fifty. I think it's like the seventies kind of design. This was so cool. It's a vase, but it's a wooden vase. It's by DMC, and it says. This vase has been treated and will hold water. I love that 3D effect. It's just so cool. Um, so yeah, we spent four pounds on this one. I think I could get maybe 25-ish for that. Sorry, I should have really got all this organized. So I got this um, necklace for 50p. And you might think, what is that? But it is actually pretty awesome. It's got like encased, um, do you see like, like the, it's like encased, it's almost like dominoes but like striped, but really cool and it's encased in like that epoxy resin, you know, if I could date it I could maybe say it was lucite but Either way, I like the style of that jewellery. There's a good collector's market for that type of jewellery. I did get a video of me picking this up. So this is an Italian fish. It says, made in Italy at the bottom. Can't really make it out. It's got that um, iridescence luster and it was a pound on the one pound shelf. Another thing from the one pound shelf. I've never seen this before. I've seen this bovine in jewellery and like other little things, but it's in, sorry, you can see I'm in a car park. It's in a mirror and that's bovine. And then at the back, it's covered in leather. So, um, 70s, would you say? 60s, 70s? Pretty awesome for a pound. Yeah, we'd take that any day for a pound. And then, oh yeah, I got another vest. Oh yeah, I got a couple of Barbies that I'll probably just put on together. Or, you know, sometimes I'll collect things. Oh dear, it's okay. Uh, sometimes I'll collect things for the year going on. So, um, the egg coddlers from Royal Worcester, I'll collect them through the year get a bundle of I don't know, six to eight and stick them on as a bundle they always do better as a bundle Barbie's probably the same I have Ken from 1983 he's naked but he's a 1983 when I was born in 1983 and then we have a Barbie whose head is 1976 and whose body is 1966 don't know what you would make of them, but we can collect a few as the year goes on, maybe. Um, and again, another thing that um, I'm collecting as the year goes on is, which, to be to be fair, my sons will probably steal them. But the the dinosaurs with the JW there for the Jurassic World, um, them in bundles again seem to do well. So I am not opposed to picking up a 25 pence dinosaur or like that. That was a pound. But at car boot sales, you can get so many of the dinosaurs. Super, super cheap. So, not with that. Um, I, mean, I got an Aura Force. Uh, is it, would you say a bowl or a candle holder? But yeah, signed at the bottom Aura Force. Nice one. Probably 15 quid, something like that. This was. This was on the half price thing, so that would have been 175. And then this isn't anything special, but I just thought someone's gonna love this in their kitchen. So this is cast iron pan with a uh, pottery pigs, and they've got some like it's actual like it's like real like straw stuff. I don't want to pull it all off. And they've got a wee bit of straw up here. And it says, feed me. <laughs> it needs a bit of a clean, but that was half price um, from two pounds. So I got that for one pound. And then... Oh, 
We've got a Chinese enamel plate, hand painted. It is marked at the back, so again, I need to do some research. Um, it is vintage. I mean, it has got kiln grit on the rim. There's a little pock mark there. Again, you just you got you know double triple check your Chinese, but I I can't pass it up. One that looks generally old. It's half price. Was it two pounds? I got it for a pound. That was that. So I think is that me? I think that's me. Yeah, I did that one. I did that. Oh yeah, I got my kiddo, uh, uh, George, the middle one. He loves dragons. Um, and that's the How to Train Your Dragon one. And I got Eli this planet thing. Even though it's just been Christmas and they've got so much stuff already, but Eli's obsessed with moons and stars and things that glow in the dark. So, they got treated to. I may go to another one. If I do, I will throw the footage in here and quickly show you when I get back in the car what I've got. Otherwise, I think I might just go home because I miss, I miss everybody. But that is it. So I hope you enjoy the video. I will be uploading you again soon. And I'm glad I was able to do all this while out and about. It has made it super, super easy. So yeah, take care. Good luck this week thrifting. And well, hopefully you'll be able to get out just before New Year. Um, there are sales on and I went to all the bigger ones, you know, so um, Salvation Army. That's one that's doing uh, the one pound shelves. And um, it was a children's one that was doing the half price one. But yeah, go out, have a look, see what you can get. And good luck. Bye.